Hi, I'm Patrice Lawrence and I write, well I'm known for writing for teenagers, but I started off writing for younger children. So I'm going to read a little bit from my book Toad Attack, which is for young people aged from I suppose about 6 to 10. So this is called Toad Attack and the first chapter is called A Toad on the Head. On Wednesday morning, Leo Hogg stepped out of his house and was hit on the head by a toad. It bounced off, slid down his nose and landed on his left shoe. Leo's small brown eyes stared into the toad's big red ones. Leo blinked, so did the toad. Then the toad flicked out its tongue, pushed down on Leo's foot and flew up onto the low branch of a nearby tree. It hopped higher and higher until it was balancing on a thick twig at the top. A breeze ruffled the leaves. The toad wobbled, then fell but instead of landing in a splat at Leo's feet, it caught a gust of wind and flew up and over Leo's roof until it was gone. Leo? Grandad was by the front door. Have you forgotten something? No, Grandad, it's just... Leo looked up at his roof. A pigeon was sitting on a satellite dish and looking down at the road as if it owned it. There were no toads anywhere. Had Leo dreamed a flying toad? It's nothing, Grandad, he said. Hurry up then. Oh, and can you come by the workshop on your way home? I need you to help me fix Lisa Tank's golf bolly. That umbrella needs a lot of work. Can't Mum help, Leo asked. She's busy working on a new type of tornado umbrella. Even in the strongest winds, it won't turn inside out. We don't have many tornadoes in Upper Dab, Grandad. Grandad smiled. True, but I do in other places. Your mum reckons that these will be her best brollies ever. Leo smiled back at Grandad. Like the umbrellas that could turn into cat's beds? Don't be cheeky, Leo. I think your mum's onto something this time. One day, we'll have a real umbrella shop again. A noisy crowd of Upper Dab High School students were waiting for the bus opposite Leo's house. It was funny to think that Leo would be heading to secondary school next year. Would he ever be as tall as them? They were too busy chatting to see what was on the litter bin next to them. It was another toad, pale yellow like the last. It leaped up, legs spring out like party poppers behind it. It landed on top of the bus stop sign. Leo's heart was thumping hard. He hadn't imagined it. Toads could fly. He'd never seen that before.